Hey guys, it's Nina back with another quick video. Uh, we've had another impending doom day along with uh, a lot of rain and now it's freezing rain. So um, I am wanting to figure out a way to de-ice my steps out back. Now, typically a lot of people have a concrete step stoop and um, you know, we all just throw salt onto it and, you know, call it a day. Well, we have some wooden steps out back that my husband made. Um, my mom has had a lot of knee and ankle surgeries. And so anything that helps the transition from the ground up to her doorway was definitely going to be beneficial for her. So uh, he made a series of smaller steps. And to be honest, I mean, they have been great for everyone. I love them. Um, it's great for my baby toddler, who's about two, two and a half and uh, you know, her small, <laughs> small legs and small gait. So anywho, um, I just realized, okay, you know, I'm damaging these, <laughs> these wood steps with all of this salt, not to mention, okay, I'm sure a lot of people have dealt with this and maybe you guys have some tips or tricks for me. How do you keep all of that salt from being tracked back into the house? I mean, it's, it's really bad. It's like stepping on Legos. And I know that you guys understand what I mean when I say stepping on Legos. So at any rate, please definitely comment below if there's any tips or tricks, to, trips, tricks, 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 yeah, to keep that salt out of the house. So at any rate, um, so I wanted to figure out, okay, what's an alternative way to keep these steps uh, in as best condition as possible, and um, but also to melt the ice. So I came across vinegar, and I thought, Psh, I've got vinegar for days. I usually use it in my laundry room with my towels. I actually use it as a fabric softener, not necessarily to soften the fabrics, but just get that musty, mildewy odor out. Um, but then I read vinegar is bad for wood. Also, the freezing point is very close to that of water, so you're really not going to get a whole lot of benefit out of it. So, came across another article, which I will post below, which I absolutely love, and I'm hoping that this actually works, so it'll be trial and error here. Um, but it said to use warm water, warm to hot water. And so actually what I'm doing is I'm using my <laughs> vinegar bottle uh, that's empty. Um, so I filled it up. Um, and again, I think it's about half a gallon of uh, warm to hot water and about a tablespoon of alcohol, rubbing alcohol and a teaspoon of Dawn dish soap. Now, usually I do not use this, so I actually had to run out and get some uh, prior to the impending doom that has occurred. Um, and uh, because again, I just, I like natural things and I know this is dyed. And for some reason, I feel like I can't rinse it off my hands. It's weird, but hey, for quick things that are going to help me <laughs> to, uh, to, to, you know, dethaw my ice, then let's give it a try. So I went ahead and put all of that in here. It has a light blue tint to it, kind of hard to see, but we're going to pour it over the steps and see if it works. So let's go. All right, so we're walking, we're walking. Now, hopefully you won't hear a lot of wind <laughs> noise in the background because there is a lot, a lot of wind. Okay. And I'm also going to do my best to not slip and fall. So I'll have you guys take a look and see what it looks like right now. What I'm trying to, you know, de-ice. I mean, that's pretty much ice. It's not snow, it's ice. <laughs> so no footprints there. So I am going to open this up and we're gonna pour this. I don't think I'm gonna pour it over my mat, um, even though it's icy, but I just wanna try it on the wood step. So let's give it a go. Ooh. Wow. Okay, I feel like I need a spray bottle for this. Ah. Wow. <laughs> I'm loving this. I'm actually kind of drawing in the snow here. Okay. All right, I think I definitely recommend using a spray bottle of some sort, or at least maybe a pour type bottle. I think at one point, Oh my gosh, let me try to <laughs> shield myself here a little bit. I think at one point I um, actually had a mop bucket that I was going to use, but who knows what happened to it. You know, you got five kids in the house and you go somewhere. So I'm really impressed with this. I'm gonna actually finish pouring on here. 
you guys see this is really kind of sleet you know it's the snow and just uh ice so this is really really good and i'm thinking what i can do is i can probably just take the shovel and end up kind of shoveling it uh the remainder of it so but i'll let you guys see how that looks pretty cool pretty cool yeah so <laughs> definitely works on contacts. So um, super simple. I mean, you're hardly using um, anything um, besides a little bit of dish soap. And I'm gonna go back inside. <laughs> hardly using anything besides warm water, dish soap and alcohol. So I definitely recommend this, uh, this mix. So yeah, so hopefully what I'm also gonna do is check back and uh, make sure that it has stayed unfrozen which I'm assuming it will be. But even if not, again, I mean, how, how cheap is this to, to remake? Um, and I'm saving my steps. So, all right. Well, thanks so much for watching this video. Please, if you happen to like it, like it. And uh, definitely subscribe uh, to uh, be notified anytime that, uh, that I come up with another video idea to share with you guys. Um, so let me know, have you tried this before? Have you tried something else that's worked for you? Um, and again, especially when it comes to wood steps, I guarantee this will work on concrete or almost any other surface, but trying to protect the life of, uh, of my awesome steps that my hubby built. <laughs> so not sure if I mentioned that. Yeah, he, he made those and I was just super stoked about it. So it's been wonderful. So, all right, until next time, you guys have an awesome day, evening, wherever you are, and uh, catch you in the next video. <laughs> Bye.